Live from WPRI 12, this is The Road Show. And good morning, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us on The Road Show. You are taking a live look outside at New Bedford this morning. Hello, New Bedford. That's beautiful. Yes, it is, right? Look at the sun glistening yeah, off the water. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Feels like spring when we're looking at that. Oh, and any, then we put our finger in the water and it's like icy as can be. Anytime this time of year would, would roll on, my, my, late, my late mother would say, especially when we would get to, as soon as Christmas would be done, yeah. she'd take down all the Christmas decorations. Like okay. everything would be done. Yeah. And then she'd like, William? I'm already thinking spring. Oh. I'm like, I'm thinking spring too. I'm thinking spring. So I'm thinking spring. Yes, Love that's it. what we do, right? Hopefully, hopefully that's what we do anyway. So oh, we're glad you're here, here with us on this uh, on this Tuesday on this Tuesday morning. I know the Oscars have been announced. I just saw that alert yes, on my phone. Right? So any I surprises? I didn't look. Uh, no, I don't think there were. Uh, you know, it's the Oppenheimers, the Bar, the Barbies, and everything. Yeah. Else. Are there any movies? Like, is there some some on the list that I, I just glanced at very very quickly because it was just like ten seconds. Like, two, yeah, two, 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 literally. Um, are there any movies that like when they are announced for the for the Oscars? Will you now go to see them? I don't think so. No. Is that bad? No. It. Not really. So I would, in theory, I think Oppenheimer is a great movie. Would be a great did you, movie. Did you see it? No. Okay. See, the me reason either. I didn't see it is because it's like three and a half hours right. long, and I don't like. I have the attention span of like a a, a mosquito. Yeah. So I can't sit through something that It's long. a long movie. That came out right the same time as Barbie, yeah. and people were doing the double shows. Looks great. I. Well, it looked awesome. Looks right? awesome. Good. I mean, I was happy that people it were doing it. I just awesome. Couldn't. It looks awesome. Couldn't make it work. But for me to sit down for three hours, at home it's one thing. In the movie theater, I don't know if I could. I don't know. If I, I know. No, but then there was one other movie. I'm forgetting the name of it. That was on the list, and I was like, oh, I, I will never see that one either. Right, right. That was from um, the Golden Globes. Yes. But isn't it normally whatever the Golden Globes are is well, normally lot, yeah, what lot, the Oscars a lot of time, are? A lot yeah. of times, yeah, a lot of times they are. Yeah. Oh. Brandon, did you see Oppenheimer? Yes. You did. No, you did. No, you, did. <laughs> no. you are so you're you, lying on television. You would, it's not, not really, I know. Yeah. <laughs> what else is new? Yeah, what else <laughs> is new? Right? We, we do it every day. Just kidding. Uh, no, it, you, you have to watch a movie like that in sittings. Yes. Separate. That's a good point. Because yes. it's just, but I think that's kind of the way a lot of people are consuming movies now when they come onto these streaming services. You watch like a half an hour at a right. time. Some people do that. Right. I do that sometimes. But I was taking a, a, a look at the list of nominees. Was What About Bob nominated? <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> I did not I love just referencing these movies that I loved as a kid. That's right. a great movie, by it's the way. It's a great movie. And that I understand the uh, the Brendan Kirby story. Zero nominations. Bio, you didn't get any this year? A biopic. <laughs> None? <laughs> they had uh, <laughs> George Clooney starring as an older version yes, of me. Yes, there you, you go. Know? The resemblance <laughs> is uncanny. Really, I mean, come on. But uh, great to see you both on this fine Tuesday morning. Good to see you. And it is cold. It's chilly. It's yeah, just bone chilling cold. And I said this, I was texting somebody last night, believe it or not, I actually have friends. And I said, it's just too cold. Yeah. I've had it with January. Right. right. Yeah. Thinking spring. We're like thinking your th spring. Thinking spring. mother used to say. Thinking and spring. My father loved working in the yard and right. he would always be excited by you know the the, the, the show the, the spring go, you know he would go to get ideas for yes. the lawn yes and that would be like the threshold so if we can just get to like February I think we can do it together we gotta get through it right. one, one paints, more week right <laughs> well, yeah, we, we are getting February. close to February you're right are we one, really Oh yeah, we are. Yeah, so this month did kind of go by quick. Crazy quick. We're like human calendars, aren't we? <laughs> all right, I'll take it away from here, kiddos. Okay. Let's talk about the fine show we have planned for all of you right here on this bone-chilling cold Tuesday morning. And, th and this is a very powerful guest lineup right here. I don't know what they're talking about. Are you talking about me over there? I see them whispering away. But anyway, I'm looking at this right here. We will check in with. That's right, Will. You got to get to the I'm kitchen. Going to the I don't kitchen. think. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Our I have a bad hip. Oh, all right. See, I've infected everybody. We'll chat with our friends from TMZ for the latest Hollywood news. And, oh, I'm going to be taking you to this family fun and sports entertainment complex called Longplex, located conveniently in Tiverton. You are not going to want to miss that. Also, Dave Kane will be here. We will learn all about something called Just for Funs. Uh, Doreen Collins will be joining us as well. The human hurricane herself with her next senior moment segment. That is not to be missed. But... We want to kick things off now with Speedy Will Gilbert, who's made his way into the kitchen. I made my way into the Roadshow kitchen. 